Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Jo here, I hope you're all well. For today's craft, it's my last Halloween craft of 2020, so I wanted to make a globe light and yeah, we'll get into how I made it. Very quickly, I just want to say I'm sorry I didn't upload last week, I was having some building work done outside my house and the noise was horrendous, they were there all week and yeah, I couldn't film. So I'm back, we're back to normal and yeah, let's get into it. So I'm using one of the Poundland cocktail bowls and I'm using a washing up sponge and some orange acrylic paint and I'm doing a very light coat all over the bowl except from the top and around the rim of the opening and yeah I'm just going to dab this on making sure that I don't cover it too much because I'm going to be putting lights inside so I want the lights to shine through. I'm going to do the one coat and let it dry. So now that the bowl is dry, I'm just using a six inch plate and I'm just going to use this as a template to draw around on an old cardboard box. And this will be the base of our globe. And once I've cut it out, I'm just using a pencil in the center to make a hole. And this is to thread the lights through so that we can put the lights inside the cocktail bowl. And I'm using a pack of the 20 micro lights and these are from Poundland. They take two AA batteries and we can get on to decorating the globe first before I end up doing the base. For decorating the globe, I'm just using some A4 white card and I'm just going to draw out some templates. I'm going to have houses on mine just because I really like buildings and houses, but you could put anything that you want on this. I can't draw, so me, I was going to do a witch, but I just couldn't do it in the end, so I went with buildings. But yeah, you could do a witch, you could write Halloween on it, you could do all sorts of different things with them. You don't have to do the buildings, but I'm just going to draw out two different buildings and then cut them out. Now that I've cut them out, I've just put the windows in so you can see what they're going to look like. And I'm just using a craft knife to cut out the windows and the doorway so that I can use these to trace around on the cocktail bowl. So I then use these to trace around the shapes on the outside of the bowl. I only did the front half at first, but in the end I did go all the way around. And I'm just using some of the black acrylic paint from B&M's. This is the first time I've ever used this and it's really good. I need to go back and get some more. I only actually did one coat to start off with and it completely covered the orange. But once I put the lights inside, I went over it again because you can see through it. So two coats was enough. I did my second coat right at the end of when I finished making it but obviously if you want to do two coats you can do them now i'm just going to take some time and try my best to keep the lines as straight as possible going around the windows and the doorway and then i'll let it dry and we can get on to the next step Once all the buildings are nice and dry, I'm going to use the smallest brush that I have, which is a number two, and I'm going to start doing the window frames again in black, and I'm just going to work my way around the outside. So I wanted to have some little stars on the bowl and I didn't trust myself to do them by painting them because I don't have a steady hand. These are out of a card making set and I've just put them on some masking tape with the sticky side up so they're easier to paint and I'm just going to go over these with black acrylic paint. I did two coats because the stars are of a metallic like finish so I needed to do two coats to make sure they were completely covered. I'll let them dry and then we can start to add them onto the globe. I also cut out a little moon out of some card and I'm going to trace around that where I want it to be at the front of the bowl and I'm going to paint that black as well. Now 
Now that my moon's dry, I'm going to start to add these stars. I'm just using a pair of tweezers and my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue these in the sky as and where I want them. And then to finish off, I'm just going to paint the rim of the cocktail bowl again in black acrylic paint. So for the base of the globe, I'm using the piece of cardboard that I cut out before and I want the battery pack to sit underneath it so it will be hidden. And I want to create a bit of a frame just to make it a little bit stronger. So I'm just using some strips of card. These are the thickness of my ruler. I just use that as a guide. And I want to create a small frame using some cardboard. Now to finish off the outside, I'm just measuring the height of the stand and it's three and a half centimeters. So I'm going to measure out three and a half centimeter strips. I'm going to do four of them so I can glue two sets together just to make it a little bit stronger and I'll be back when that's done. So to finish off the base, I'm using the white card strips to glue them around the outside. It wasn't long enough to go all the way around in one, so that's why I did two. And I'm just going to glue this in place using my glue gun. And then with the other piece, I'm just going to fill in the gap around the back, making sure that none of the joins is at the front of the base. Once it's all glued together, I'm going to paint it black and let it dry. So now that the bowl and the base is dry, we can add the lights. So again, I'm using the battery powered lights from Palmland and I'm going to thread these through and pull them all the way to the battery pack. And then I'm going to secure the battery pack in place using a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to make sure that the opening, the section that you open to get the batteries in and out is facing upwards or downwards so that you can access them easily enough and then I'm just going to secure that in place. Now that the battery pack is in place I'm going to secure the end of the lights into the center of the cocktail bowl just using a little bit of sellotape and then once this is in place I'm just going to push all the lights inside the cocktail bowl and then glue the bowl to the base and all the lights will be inside. Then to finish off, I'm just going to paint the top of the bowl in black and let that dry. So for the top of the bowl, I want to create a little lid and I'm going to use a eight inch hoop, which I've just drawn around on some card. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to cut a slit up until the center of the circle. And I'm also going to take a small section out because we don't need all this card. And then I'm just going to bend this into the shape that I want for the roof of the globe. 
and once i'm happy with the shape i'm just going to glue this down with some hot glue and then we can start to work on the rest of the lid so for the lid i wanted it to be quite sturdy i want some pumpkins on the top of the lid so i'm using a kitchen roll to create a base under the lid and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a hole which is the same width as the kitchen roll out of the top of the lid i'm just going to snip off a small section first and then widen the hole using the scissors until the kitchen roll fits in the hole nice and neatly and once it fits in, I want to create a little top bit for it. So I'm going to be using some cardboard. And the only thing I could find that was the same width as the kitchen roll was the salt pot. So I'm just using this as a template. I'm going to cut that out and then glue it to the top of the kitchen roll. But before I do that, first I'm going to just pop the lid back on the roll and then add some glue around the top. And then I can push up the lid so that it meets the glue and it'll be nice and flush with the top of the kitchen roll. And then just add the small section of card on top. Then to finish off, I'm just going to paint it all in black. I'm only going to do a small section of the kitchen roll because I'm going to be cutting this quite small. So I'm just going to paint it all and let it dry. So now that I've painted the kitchen roll and the lid, I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to work on the pumpkins. I'm using one of the pumpkin kits. These are from Asda. It's a pound. You get the paints in a little paintbrush and the pumpkins. And I already had one that was open. So all I'm going to do now is use my own paint. So this is the same orange that I did the bowl in. I'm going to completely cover this and let it dry. And while the pumpkins are drying, I'm going to use some paper ribbon. I got this bag of ribbon from a charity shop for a pound and it had some orange ones in it. So I'm going to use this just to put it around the rim of the base. I'm just going to pop it around so I can measure how long I need, cut it off and then put this in place. It's self-adhesive so I don't need to glue it. If you haven't got anything like this you could use ribbon, uh, any ribbon that you wanted and yeah just to give it a little bit more detail. So the pumpkins are still drying so I'm going to add the lid to the globe and I'm just going to trim off the excess of the kitchen roll that I no longer need until I'm happy with the height and then I can use my glue gun to glue around the bottom of the kitchen roll and attach this to the top of the globe. So once I'm happy with the height I'm just going to add the glue and then glue it in place. Now to finish up the pumpkin, I'm using the pinkish red colour that came in the kit and I'm going to use this as a highlight in the grooves of the pumpkins and then I'm going to use the black that was also provided in the kit and I'm going to do the details of the pumpkin eyes and the nose and the mouth. To add a little bit more detail, I'm using some plastic spiders. These were from B&M's for a big bag of mixture of decorations. And these were actually rings, so I'm just cutting off the ring part and I'm going to glue a line of these around the outside of the lid. Before I add the pumpkins to the top, I want to add some more of this orange lace around the top so it matches the bottom and I want it to stand up so I need to create a back for it otherwise it's just going to show through a see-through. So I've just measured the size that I need and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some card. I'm going to just measure out the width that I want using the ribbon as a guide. I'm just going to then draw a line with my ruler where I need to cut once I've painted. And I'm going to paint this first before I cut it. So I'm just going to do it in black. I'm going to paint it, let it dry and then add the ribbon.
So once I went to glue this in place, I realized that you could see the white card on the back. So I'm just going to give it a quick coat of black and then I can glue this in the place that I want. Just adding a little bit of glue and gluing it into a circle and then this will pop just over the pumpkins which I've glued in place. And then I was going to leave it here, but then I thought I might add some stars. So what I decided to do was exactly the same way that I did the black stars. I'm going to do some orange stars. So I'm going to use some masking tape, sticky side up, pop the stars in place so that they don't move about when I'm painting them. And I'm just going to do them in the same orange as I did the globe and the pumpkins. And then to finish off, I'm going to pop one star in between each of the spiders at the top. And then I'm going to pop some around the base of the globe as well, just to finish off where there's quite a lot of black. So I'm going to glue them in place with my glue gun and then we're finished and we can see what it looks like. And here we are. So I've just popped it on top of a candlestick that I got from a charity shop that I paid £2 for. It's not glued down. It's just sitting on top so that you can pull it up and turn the lights on and off. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I mean, you could do this in any colour that you wanted. You could do it in green. You could do it in purple. And yeah, I'm really happy that I gave it a go. It's given me some ideas for some other projects using cocktail bowls for Halloween. And yeah, I'll do them next year. So I hope you've enjoyed the last video of Halloween crafts that I'm going to be doing this year and I will show you what it looks like lit up so here it is lit up and yeah I really like it lit up it's really really nice so I think these would look brilliant if you had two of them on the side of your doorway obviously inside because they're not waterproof but yeah I hope it's giving you some ideas guys I will be back on Thursday with a haul it might not be a large one I've got a few bits from Poundland and I've got a few bits from the charity shop so I'll see you on Thursday everyone take care I hope you're having a fantastic week love you loads and I'll see you then bye for now